There are a ton of new features coming to Messages with iOS 18, including currency conversion while you're texting, customize the link cards when you send a URL, plus Apple intelligence tools like smart replies, summaries, and proofreading. You can send messages later, use emojis as tapbacks, and yes, RCS is here, which means you can get red receipts and ellipses when you text an Android phone. Number one, the new Math Notes feature in iOS 18 also means you can do math problems right here anywhere you type text. So if you do something like four times four and just put an equal signs after it, and you'll actually get the solution right here as you're typing. This also works for currency conversion. I can write $46 to euros just in plain text, and as soon as I put an equal sign, it's gonna do the calculation right here. Then I can tap it, and now I have that currency conversion or math problem right here in messages. Number two, when you're gonna share a website via text, you can hit the share button here when you're looking at the site, and you get that normal card looking link, but you can actually tap it now and go to customize if you wanna change it to a smaller link card, and that'll save some space, or you can just convert to text link and it'll just send the URL. If you wanna go back, I can just highlight that URL, click show link preview, and then we'll go back to the larger card and then customize, go to the smaller one, gives you a lot more control of what it looks like to send URLs. These next three features are Apple intelligence specifically, which will only be on the 15 Pro and Pro Max. First up is smart replies. Now when you get a text message, you'll actually get prompted responses right here above the keyboard. This is from Apple intelligence and it's pulling from the text you receive, formulating a full response. So this is asking, should we do the video today or tomorrow? I can just tap, let's do it today, send that, and you'll see those smart replies both here in text messages and in mail. Number four are AI summaries. Now when you get a text message, you'll see a little symbol next to it if it's been summarized. This is an Apple intelligence feature which will give you the key points and summary of the message. Then you can click in and actually read the full message. Also, you can turn on important messages to break through even when you're in a focus mode. So you see you got a text message here, and if it's from a contact or something that Apple Intelligence thinks it's important, like a problem with a water heater, it will break through that focus mode. You can enable that by going to the settings on your phone, go to any specific focus mode, and toggle on the intelligence breakthrough and silencing. And the last Apple Intelligence feature here in Messages are the writing tools. Now when I select text that I'm writing here in Messages, I can quickly type the rewrite here or even proofread, and Apple Intelligence will proofread that text before I send it. It shows that there was one change and I can accept it or go back to the original. I'll accept it, but maybe I also wanna change the tone of this text message. Well, now I can click the Apple Intelligence symbol here and we have a lot more tools, not just rewrite, but also make it more concise, make it sound friendly or professional. And I can even pull things like a summary or key points from the text I have selected. Let's make it sound more professional. And now it says, in light of the recent release of iOS 18, I propose, yeah, it's definitely more professional. I can go back to the original if I would like, but this is also helpful if someone sent you a long text, well, you can just copy and paste it right here in messages, not to send it back to them, but this way you can select it, highlight it, tap the Apple intelligence, and then just get a summary of their text right here without leaving messages. Number seven is the new send later feature. Now when I press the plus icon next to the compose window, I can go to more, and you'll see the send later option here. If I tap that, I cannot choose to send this on a different day, we'll say tomorrow, and at a certain time, like 8 a.m. And when I press send, you'll see that this is actually pending being sent. I can see the day and time that it's going to be sent right here. I can edit the day and time right here if I wanna do that. And if you think you'll be doing that often, tap the plus icon, go to more, and then tap and hold the send later command and just drag it up and you can put this anywhere you'd like in that list. Also, these send later messages actually live in iCloud, so if your phone is off or loses battery, this message will still send at that day and time. So maybe you scheduled a message that you don't wanna send, you need to make sure to actually remove it because it will send even if your phone is off. When I tap edit, I can send this message immediately, edit the time and date, or delete the message entirely. Next, tap backs have gotten a redesign. We have different colors for the tap backs, they're no longer just kind of the plain blue. And number nine is tapbacks can actually be emojis. I can swipe to the right on this and you'll actually see some emojis appear, but I can actually go to the emoji picker and choose any emoji I want for a tapback. Let's say I wanna put the eyes on that message. I can use that emoji as a tapback right here. You can do that with any message back and forth. I can also tap the emoji symbol right here. I'll choose a different emoji and now that's being used as a tapback. Number 10 is text formatting. Now you can select a word or the entire message and you can tap this formatting tool right here and you have a bunch of options. Not only can you bold, italicize, underline and strike through either a single word or an entire message, 
But number 11 are the new text effects that you can apply again to a whole message or a specific word. Let's add the shake effect and that can go to a specific word. And when I send that, you'll see those text effects are playing right there. If you have a longer message, you can apply them in different ways, maybe bolding specific words and then adding text effects on others. And you can have all of that in a single message, making certain words bold, italic, using text effects for some, all right here in messages. All right, number 12 is a big one and that's RCS. I have my Google Pixel 6a over here to test that out. And you have a bunch of features you know from iMessage now when you're texting Android devices that support RCS. The first thing you'll notice is that here in the Compose window, if this is someone compatible with RCS, you'll actually see the little letters RCS dimly in this Compose window. Then when I send a message to this person, you'll get a delivered and a read receipt if they have that turned on. If you start typing a message, the Android user on the other side will actually get an ellipsis. That also works the other way. If the Android device starts typing, you'll see the ellipses over here on the iPhone. When the Android user sends it, they'll also get delivered. You'll see two check marks means it was delivered to the recipient. And I can turn on red receipts now for this Android conversation. I can tap on send red receipts. Now when the person sends a message, not only will they get those two small check marks, meaning it was delivered, but those little check marks will actually fill in, meaning that the message was also read. Also, you'll be able to send high quality images and videos via RCS to Android users. They won't be as compressed as they were before. And those link cards we were talking about earlier, you can send those to another Android device and they'll show up as link cards on their end as well. Now, one thing you won't have via RCS is editing or unsending. After you send a message, if you tap and hold on it, there's no unsend or edit feature. That's still iMessage only. RCS also works in group chats, but you won't have the ellipses when someone is typing and you won't get delivered or read receipts from either side. Feature number 13, you'll actually be able to send messages via satellite if you have an iPhone 14 or newer. This won't just be for emergency services. If you just wanna text someone like a friend or family member and you only have satellite coverage, there's no cellular, you'll be able to do that in iOS 18. And finally, number 14, Previously, when you sent emojis three or fewer, they would be this larger size. And then once you added more, they will go to the normal small size emoji. Well, in iOS 18, there's actually multiple sizes. So if you send one emoji, it'll be the biggest. And then if you send two or three emojis, it'll go to that kind of medium size. And then once you go to four, they'll go even tinier. So that is every new messages feature coming to iOS 18 and Apple Intelligence. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and hit that like button. And if you want to see a highlight of my top 10 features coming to iOS 18 this fall, check out this video right up here. And if you'd like a deep dive into Apple intelligence and all the things it offers like priority notifications, mail summaries, and more, check out this video right up here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.